a study from Chapman University in California found more than half of Americans believe the government is concealing information about 9-11 attacks. Mm, it's because they are. But more on that in the future, perhaps. Just have a look at that quickly. You can see any numbers in there. Let me know. I ain't got time to look. Let's just go quickly. I want to go to that um, uh, BBC program about Freemasons. Uh, BBC Two uh, Freemason program. Now, if you remember, remember on that uh, other program, uh, on that other video I did on this uh, Freemason expos, where they show everybody into the lodge and tell everybody how wonderful they are, how they use the wrong imagery and de deliberately distorted imagery. So I'm very interested to see, interested to see, how they're going to portray these guys. Let's see, you know, in this TV show. So I'm going to download this, analyze it, look at it, uh, and just tell you basically what they're not telling you, essentially. Yeah, let's play it. Will it play? Yes. It's an ancient organization with roots in Scotland we've all heard of, but know almost nothing about. Oh, don't pause. Oh, you come on. Holding the keys. Thumbs up, whether you're a Freemason or not, you're doing the Freemasonic thing. For the first time, we go behind their closed doors to see the hand they played in shaping Scotland and beyond. As we reveal the, the secrets of the Masons. Monday the 19th of March on BBC Two Scotland. Oh, damn, it's in Scotland. I'm not going to watch it. Interesting, it's only going to be aired in Scotland. That interests me. Very interesting. Only going to be aired in Scotland. Is that right? Hmm. Very if the king thought he could rebuild Scotland, then his workers, the stonemasons, thought they could build something of their own. Groups got together, almost like a proto-trade union. The stonemasons are a wee bit different in the sense that they were protecting what essentially is trade secrets. They are techniques that they employed in order to build castles and what have you. It was the secret that they passed from... Taken from Egypt. ...from generation to generation of stonemasons. To identify themselves as skilled and pro stonemasons, they developed a greeting that has made them infamous, the Masonic Handshake. The handshakes are a way of identifying one to another, especially when they had to move around Scotland looking for work. If you went to a place where you weren't known, you had to have some kind of proof that you were able to build uh, and work on a, on a construction site. The period we're dealing with here in Scotland is a time when ritual has largely been taken out of the church. Without ritual, humans find it quite difficult to function. And many people will seek belonging by becoming part of a club, a society. It could be free... See, so they, they obviously, like a lot, not all the Masons know the true occultic symbols that they use throughout this whole entire thing that stem from basically um, Egypt, basically. I have to go into that in more detail. Maybe they don't. Some of these don't know about it. Wow, that guy on the left there looks proper creepy. What's that about? What the heck is that? A club, a society. What the? F it could be f what is that on the left there? Wow, that's uh creepy. Creepy. Hold on a second. Yeah. Uh, so look, so look. Uh, uh, come on, come on. Uh, wow. Let me zoom in. What is that? So that's just pure mockery right there. Some sort of demon or something sitting there. You want to say that the Freemasons have nothing to do with demons or demonic stuff, and you deliberately show this picture with this, whatever that is, a dead body, a flipping grey. What is that? 
Seriously. That's just pure mockery. It could be He's trying to play the taste out like there's nothing strange, nothing mystical, no nothing. But you've got this dead body here or something that looks like a flipping grey. Whatever. I don't know what that is. Basically, it could be a different club altogether. Different club altogether. It's probably going to mockery for the idiots. Okay. Freemason. 33, it level of 33 in free, uh, Freemasonry. The 33 is the 33 vertebrae of the human spine and represents the Kundalini, binary serpent, same as in the New Age movement, rising up the spine to the 33, up the 33 vertebrae into the pineal gland and such. Uh, basically through the seven chakra. Okay, you can see that in the Baphomet, in, this, in its stomach. You can see the Kundalini. In its stomach. It could be Freemasonry. It could be a different... One last time. Let's have a look at that. A club. A society. It could... What is this? Leave in the comments. What's that? Huh? be Freemasonry. It could be a different club altogether. The act of joining the Masons soon involved another notorious ritual. Rolled up trouser leg, the one that gives us the most trouble. What it means is that your skin touches the lodge, if you like. So there's a, a physical contact between you and the lodge, and this is this is a bond that should never be broken. So it's just a, a very old and peculiar way of emphasising the fact that you have entered an organisation that you're never going to renege on. Because they'll kill you. Or shame you. Yeah, it's quite well known that. King thought he could rebuild Scotland. Wow, well, got to. His workers, the it's only been broadcast in Scotland, so I might have a bit of an issue trying to get that downloaded. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. But let's just quickly go back to this. We'll end the video on this. This guy I'm trying to make it sound like it's a wonderful thing that has nothing to do with demons or um, something dark or seeded. But can you tell me what this is, please? Leave in the comments. We'll end on this thing here. Where is it? This thing here, right? The demon. Whatever that is. Ah, oh, wow. Hmm. Like, comment, subscribe.